How's it going, party people? Yet another episode on the club sport. I say another episode, this is like the second episode, but things are moving super quickly. I've got loads of content to get out and show you. The car is looking incredible. Still a few little touches to go though. But this episode is all about the exhaust and uh, some proper cool little uh, gearbox bushes. More about them later on. Exhaust, this has been a tough one for me. Uh, this, this, I drive this car as a daily. Standard exhaust isn't bad. It sounds nice, like high up in the revs and stuff like that. Just needs a little bit deeper, a little bit more throw. Um, and the performance, it's stupidly restricting. So I've been searching the internet, you know, those late nights where you can't sleep and you make stupid decisions. Luckily I didn't make one of those and I sort of just decided I was just going to do a custom one. Just everything out there, just there wasn't anything that was right, um, and especially for the money. Yeah, I was just going to swallow it, do a custom one and be done with it. They're not cheap, um, but then at least it's done once, done right. Again, <laughs> those, those late lights trawling the internet. Um, I found, I kept coming across this exhaust on eBay. Can't remember the price now, it was like under 300 pound. Um, and I was like, but surely not. Um, just trying to zoom into all the pictures and everything, like seeing the detail of the welds, trying to check the quality. And it was like good quality steel and everything, like on the description. But I was just like, no, surely it can't be that good for that cheap. Like, no, come on, spend a little bit more. I thought I'd do a little bit more investigating. More moments later. Time and time on the internet. Much, much, much later. Yeah, I managed to find uh, the manufacturer of these horse, which was Dorenza. They're a UK-based company. I've heard of them before. After speaking to them and going through it, it wasn't something they had in stock, so I did have to order it through eBay. Another eBay purchase. Definitely need to have shares in these people. Yeah, I've made a purchase. Check it out. Time to rip the old one out and get this new one roaring. <laughs> so another cool little product I've got to mention, we mentioned it at the start, but we're gonna go a little bit more in depth now. I feel terrible that I haven't got one here that I can show you, but I was so excited to fit them, and I didn't have a camera with me, so, yeah, I've got no content, so apologies. But what I have got for you is a review, which personally I feel is more important. Just basically going through the whole Dorenza website, put in the car specs, and that was it. I was just like, oh, kid at Christmas, what could I buy? Website here, somewhere, one of the, yeah, anyway. And, and yeah, I came across these gearbox mounts. Now, to be honest, the only reason I really sort of honed into them is because mine were a little bit weak um, and a little bit worn. The gearbox was knocking very, very slightly on gear changes and it was bugging the hell out of me. So I thought, do you know what? Let's give them a try, give them a go. There wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of money. So yeah, fitted them and wow. Um, absolutely blown away by these cool little bushes that have just transformed the car. It just changed it into a totally different car. I do have to give you all a little warning because uh, it did freak me out at the beginning. Uh, these are meant to be for track use and you wouldn't even notice it on a track car. But on a road car, um, in the first I would probably say a thousand miles, you do get some vibrations. You do get some noises, but the noises are a good thing. Um, but yeah, you get some vibrations where they're just settling in and they are quite stiff. Don't panic. They do smooth out, um, they do go away, because uh, I did panic. Um, but yeah, they, it, it 
give it a thousand miles, they soften up, they bed in, sweet. But the noises, oh my. Let's check those out. Just check these gearbox noises. Oh, that gear noise sounds like a sequential. Well, okay. Maybe a poor man's dog box. You get a clunk as it goes into gear. Listen. That has literally only happened since changing the gearbox mounts. Sounds so naughty. Thank you very much, Dorenzo. Oh, and I fitted some new wheels. Thank you, Mr. Lewis Allen. Check out his awesome BMW with his upgraded wheels. 720 old. Very happy with the fitment now. This is one of these moments where I start questioning my life decisions because the car is looking sweet on these wheels and a few other little subtle touches that we've done. Really, really happy with it. But it's not gonna stop there, is it? Cause what the hell? I ain't no sheep and I don't want my car looking like everyone else's. I'm sure most of you all be way too happy with this look at the moment. So, throwing that out of the window. Next stage coming soon. Oh! Oh! I can't wait to show you the next stage. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Thanks for watching. Couldn't do this without you guys. See you next time. Oh, one last thing. If you want to see a feature on this monster, drop me a comment.